Hi everybody, it's Danielle and welcome to the Rebel Femme YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you three romantic hairstyles that are perfect for Valentine's Day that you can do at home on yourself. All of the products that I'm going to be using today are available for purchase on rebelfemme.com. So let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I love to prep my hair with Perfect Defense by Moroccan Oil because it has 450 degree heat protectant and it's an aerosol. It goes on pretty, pretty easy product evenly distributes throughout the hair. Then I always love to go in with some sort of texture spray, especially when doing braids, so it's easier to pull apart. And this one also is Moroccan oil, and again, it does go on really nicely. And then I curled my hair with a one and a half inch iron from T3. I love using a bigger barrel when I'm doing romantic curls. If you want more of a beachy wave, I would use like a one inch iron, but when I do more romantic curls, especially for Valentine's Day, I love doing a bigger iron. I almost forgot, I always use my Fermar brush because it is perfect for detangling wet or dry hair and I love using this before curling my hair. This Fermar brush is available on Rebel Femme Shop. Curling your hair on camera is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I decided I'm going to use a little bit of the Loma dry shampoo. I love this dry shampoo because I have really dark hair and it leaves no white cast. So I'm just going to kind of spray it on in kind of work it in there just for a little bit of volume. Look, there's like no white cast. So for the first style, I'm going to do a cute little braided headband. This is a perfect hairstyle for beginners. It's very easy and it looks super romantic. So first things first, you're gonna wanna start by sectioning off the front pieces in front of your hair. You can kind of adjust this later based off of your hairline. I'm going to be taking a small little piece right above my ear. You can either twist this, which is a little bit harder, or you can braid it. I'm just gonna braid it. So now that I have my three strands, I'm going to do just a regular three strand braid. And once I get about halfway down, I'm gonna start kind of pulling them out. And then I'm gonna keep going. And you can even rouge it. So I'm going to take one little piece and pull it up like that to create a really pretty pancaked look. And then I'm going to tie it off with just a little clear elastic. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now that you have your two braids, it's time for the fun part. You can just cross them over. This is kind of where you're gonna want to find out how much hair you like in front of your ear. I like a little bit around my face. You're gonna kind of have to play with this. If you want it, like you don't want this part, you can tuck this behind first and then do it. Here is a little bobby pin and then you wanna tuck it right above your other braid. So now you're just gonna wanna do the same thing on the other side and I kind of like mine right in front of my, or my other braid. So then I'm gonna take my bobby pin and just kind of pin it how I like it right behind my other section and then you can kind of take your bobby pins and fix it up how you like it so I can kind of see right there I don't like how that's sticking out so I'm just gonna fix that and then adjust it and tweak it to how you like it so I really like how this turned out I don't know if you can tell but I really love sparkle so I'm going to add a little bit more rhinestones so these are cute little rhinestones that you can just twist into your hair they're very easy to apply very easy to get out so I'm just gonna kind of randomly place them to finish off my style I'm gonna be using the Loma texture and finishing spray just to set everything in place and I love it because it's really movable so you can kind of layer it based on your needs. I love this hairstyle because you can customize it to your own personality. I love the rhinestones, so I need to put rhinestones in my hair. But if you don't like the rhinestones, you can just leave it as is. It's very simple and easy and perfect for any date night. So this is the final look of the first Valentine's Day hairstyle. Comment down below how you would customize it differently. All right, now moving on to the second look. So if you like a little bit more volume, you might like this one a little bit better we're going to be doing a romantic half up half down with a cute little bow just to kind of spice it up a little bit for this style I'm gonna be using texturizing taffy this product is my favorite product I use it every single day I love it because it has these little little fibers that help smooth the hair down without making it look too tacky next we are going to be using the Kenra spray clay because it gives you so much volume and if you like volume 
perfume, you need to add this into your arsenal now. To finish off, I'm going to be using the Noma Nourishing Oil Treatment because it makes my hair super shiny and smells amazing. And then I'm going to be spraying it in place with the Kenra Perfect Medium Spray. So I'm just gonna start with sectioning off my front pieces. And I like to leave out a couple of pieces in the front. It makes it look a little bit more romantic. If you like a more slicked back look, you don't have to do this part. So now I'm just going to be taking pretty much from above my ear all the way up to the top of my head. And then you're gonna wanna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm kind of matching it. Take your Fermar brush and kind of comb back whatever you're not using. And this might be easier for you if you don't have two weft extensions, but I do, so you kind of have to hide those a little too. So I'm just going to tie it right at the top with my little bungee. And the higher it goes on your head, the more volume you're going to have. And you kind of want to make sure on the sides that you have everything covered if you have extensions. And then from there, you can kind of pull out which pieces you want. So once you kind of like how it's looking, you're going to take just a little bit of texturizing taffy. If your hair is really frizzy, you can use a little bit more. But I love this stuff just to kind of smooth where needed. If you like a really sleek look, I would definitely use more. I like to use it especially around my face and then you can take your spray clay and kind of spray it up top if you want any more volume right here and I'm gonna spray it on my ends too I'm going to touch up my curls a little bit the nice part is if you kind of have fine hair up top like me the bow kind of hides it so you kind of have to think you're gonna put the bow there so it's gonna look more voluminous anyway because see how this is kind of like lacking this is why I need hair extensions because I don't want to pull on my ponytail too much I'm not gonna use the clamp I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around just to kind of judge up the curls a little bit and then I'm gonna touch up my front pieces too this time I am gonna use the clamp I'm going to add my cute little bow just for some extra volume I'm going to be adding that right up top so then I'm gonna be finishing off with my Loma nourishing oil just to make my hair really shiny I literally only need one pump and you can actually use this before you curl your hair also um, because it has a heat protectant of 450 degrees which is kind of cool finish it off with the perfect medium spray I love how this look turned out it's cute it's fun it's flirty perfect for Valentine's Day comment down below if this one is your favorite so for the third and final look it's gonna be a little bit more sleek and it is very customizable which is what I love about it I have a little bit more of a round face and I don't love showing my ears and typically but I'm going to actually leave out just a little bit just to kind of frame my face a little bit better and then I'm gonna be taking this entire section in front of my ears so it's not gonna stay like this, but for this look, you're gonna wanna grab your texturizing taffy. I was using this earlier. And then you're gonna wanna grab some sort of boar bristle brush to help smooth out the flyaways. So I'm gonna start by taking my taffy. Again, you only need just a little tiny bit. I'm gonna separate the little piece that I kinda wanna save. And I'm gonna put this right on my part line and kind of around. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm gonna take these two front pieces and take my clear elastic and just tie them at the nape of my neck over my ear so no one has to see those. So just to make this look a little bit more sleek, I'm going to take my flat iron and kind of just touch these little baby hairs right in the front that tend to get a little bit curly. And then I'm gonna go back in with some texturizing taffy. So now, because it's really sleeker on my face, I kind of want to have some more volume in the back. I'm going to take my brush and take my crown, and I'm going to take the Luminous Moroccan Oil Hairspray in Strong. And kind of just sit, and then just kind of do it all the way. So once your hair is looking crazy, you can kind of just take your brush and smooth it out. All right, so just to lock everything in place, I'm just gonna use Kenra Perfect Medium. We're gonna put some rhinestones just to kind of make it extra sparkly and Valentine's Day-like. You can also stop here, because I think this looks pretty cute. But if you wanna go 
a little bit extra, add some sparkles. So you're gonna wanna peel them off and then I'm just gonna kinda place them randomly. I'm gonna use the bigger ones kinda first and then go down, I'm sorry, towards the end. And you just kinda stick them in. So I'm just gonna keep putting more and more in until I get to the bottom, until I feel like it's enough. With these guys, you definitely wanna do a less is more technique and you can kind of fill in any gaps with the little tiny ones, which is kind of fun. What do you think? Um, but I love this look. I feel like it's a perfect balance between the fun and flirty and the sleek and the elegant. You can always add more to make it a little bit more fun if you would like. But comment down below if you love this look or pick whichever one is your favorite, one out of three. Just to finish everything off, I'm going to use the perfect medium spray. Just an added little hair hack. If you love this look and want to reuse your rhinestones, don't throw them away. You can reuse them with lash glue. So just pick them off and put them back on here. It was so much fun creating all of these looks today. If you want to learn more about any of the products I used, comment down below to ask your questions, or you could head over to our blog page on rebelfem.com where we explain all of the products, or you can head over to the shop page and learn more about them as well. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and right here on YouTube for more fun content. I'll see you next time. Bye.